I guess I'm kind of lucky that I got my MacBook when I got it. I'm using the M1 Max now. This is my primary machine now, and it's the 16 inch version. Let's see if I wanted one right now. When would it arrive? So here's MacBook Pro. Let's go with 14 and 16, 16 inch. And this is the one I got, 10 core, 32 select. All right, I got the 64 and I stayed with one terabyte. Uh, wow, February 18th. <laughs> <laughs> For reference, today is December 13th, so that's over a two-month wait. So what I've done here is I've compiled a list. I went through all the different options for the machines, everything except the M1 13-inch MacBook Pro, which I don't think is worth buying. So I have the MacBook Air here, the 14-inch, and the 16-inch, different combinations of processors, different RAM configurations, and SSDs when they matter for the date. So we're focused on the arrival date when you can get your hands on this machine. Now, a couple of caveats here. I happen to live in the Washington, D.C. area, so I have three stores, Apple stores, near me. So I have some options of where to go, and that's why I have this column here available in my store when it's going to be available in my store. So the ones that say now, I can go out and grab those today if I wanted to. I know that not everybody's in that boat, but I just wanted to give you a relative reference to how long these machines will take to get relative to each other. And this is the ship date shipped to me. So according to my zip code and so on. All right, let's go through this. So MacBook Air, we've got the eight core CPU, seven core GPU, and the eight core CPU, eight core GPU varieties. And yeah, they are a little bit different price wise, but the ship date is pretty much the same, very close to each other. The difference here is the RAM. Do you want eight gigabytes or do you want 16? But all of them are pretty close. You know, within a couple weeks, you're gonna have this machine. So if you really were desperate and you needed a machine and you needed to pay a very low price for it, 999 bucks, you can get that right now. By the way, right on Apple's website, it says you can get that for 899. Let's see, I think it's on the home page. Well, you got to go to the homepage of the MacBook Air. <laughs> there it is. MacBook Air started for $8.99 in our education store. 100 bucks off? Why wouldn't you do that? You probably have to meet some criteria for having an education discount. Check that out. That's a pretty good deal. Now, December 28th is not that far off for the 16 gigabyte versions. It's not going to be here before... Christmas, if that's when you need it by, but it's pretty close. The 14 inch variety comes in multiple different configurations, the most different configurations. You got the Pro, 814 is the lowest it can go. By the way, the 16 inch, you cannot get that in an 814 configuration or 8 CPU, 14 GPU, only the 14 inch. And that's the model that I actually had here and I was testing it. So if you wanna see some of the videos of my 14 inch versus the other machines that I was doing, that's the model I was testing. Now I'm testing the 16 inch 1016 versus the 1032. We'll get to that in a minute. All right, so the 814 you can get right now, 16 gigabyte machine. And this one is a pretty good machine. I've been testing it and it's decent. It's very nice. It's compact. It's uh, the cheapest one, not cheapest, the least expensive one, I should say, <laughs> out of all of the new machines. As you can see, it's 1,999 bucks, 2,000 bucks. So that's not a bad machine. 16 gigs of RAM is gonna get you through most of the tasks you need to do as developers. And then there is this huge yellow area of January 21st arrival dates. So that ranges for the 32 gigabyte model of 814, 16 and 32 gigabyte models of 1014. By the way, I've never seen a video of anybody testing the 1014. I don't know why, maybe it's not a very popular model, but actually that would be a pretty good machine because you're getting two extra CPU cores. The GPU cores, maybe you don't use those, but the extra CPU cores do make a difference. And you've seen that in my tests. So for the 16 gigabyte model of the 10 CPU core variety, it's only 200 bucks more, not a bad deal. And I want to say something about this any column. This is the storage column the SSD. Uh, it's a little bit nebulous what I mean by any. So I put any down for any SSD if the date does not change based on your selection. Now where the date changes, I did make a specific comment here of 512 gigabytes. And that's the case for this M1 Pro 1016, 16 gigabytes, 512. That's January 31st. But if you were to skip to the one terabyte model, that's available right now. And even the shipment date, 
is sooner. So that's pretty cool. And then you got to fork out the extra 300 bucks for the extra two GPU cores if you want it right now. Okay, moving on. Here's another nebulous region for the 1016 32 gigabyte machines. And um, I don't know, I split this one up into 512 and one terabyte plus as well, uh, just to give you some price examples, but they're all January 21st over there. Now we're getting into the max. So 14 inch max machines are going to be hard to get. And I'm not sure if that's because the demand is lower for them, so they're not making as many and shipping as many, or because their demand is so high that they can't keep up. But right now, if you wanted to get a 14 inch M1 Max machine, the one that's pretty approachable and it's not gonna make you wait forever is this one right here, January 21st, which is still more than a month away, but it's not like February 18th for the 1024 64 gig variety or the 1032 64 gig variety. February 18th is more than two months away now. All right, now let's get into the 16 inch machines. These have less configurations available. They do have the Pro and the Max, but they don't go down with the Pro to uh, 1014 or 814. They go down to 1016. All right, so that machine is available right now, and that's 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU with 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabyte configuration for 24.99. You can get that right now, and that happens to be uh, the machine that I have that I bought and uh, I'm using for testing purposes and doing some comparisons. So I do have comparisons on this channel between uh, a bunch of different machines, including that machine, the M1 Max that I'm using for this video, my Intel MacBook Pro 16 inch and my M1 MacBook Air. And that is the machine that I was able to just go out on that same day and buy it right at the store. So there's plenty of those, I guess very popular model but if you were to go with one terabyte or 32 gigs of ram then you gotta wait till january 21st for either the store arrival or for shipment now if you wanted to go for an m1 max 16 inch the only one that's reasonably available within a month or so is this 32 gigabyte variety 1032 but if you want a 24 cores of gpu you gotta wait for a long time till February. And this is the machine that I'm currently on. This is the 1032 64 gig variety. Any of those machines is going to be February 18th. So the longest wait possible. So if you are looking for a machine before the holidays, this is kind of what we're dealing with now. For those of you that are not in this country or outside or have longer shipping times, I'm sorry about that. Not my fault. So I guess I'm not sorry. Um, leave a comment down below if you want me to ship you one of these machines. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. I think it's illegal too, but uh, hopefully it'll get to you uh, when it's when Apple decides to get it to you. Good luck with those gifts. I'll see you all next time.